Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the SwiftUI View lifecycle. So what is this? Well the best way to think about these life cycles is that it's when an event is triggered on our views. For example when a view appears on the screen we're actually able to check for this with a life cycle event called on appear. In this tutorial we're going to go through all the life cycles you'll come across in SwiftUI so let's get straight into it. So when you're working with your screen in SwiftUI, you may want to do some kind of configuration when it appears and disappears. So let's see what modifiers we have available to us and when they are triggered. So first of all, let's create a sheet that will present some text on the screen when a button is pressed. And if you want to learn more about sheets, then check out my video presenting and dismissing views in SwiftUI. So I'm just going to type this out and then we'll break it down. All right, cool. So on the screen, what we have is we have two state properties here and our show text is what we're going to use to actually control displaying this text here in a sheet. And we also have another state property here called button color. So this state property is what we're actually going to use to control the button that you see on the screen here. So depending on some kind of action with our view lifecycle, we're going to change the color of this button. So we just simply have a button on the screen here. We just toggle the state of whether we should show this text and we just have our sheet. So depending on whether this is true or false, it will show this text here. So just so you can see this in action, if I run this on the preview and I tap on this, you'll now see that we're able to see our text and we can just pull down to dismiss it. So when you tap on the button, it shows the text and you're able to dismiss. But what about if we want to perform some logic when our button appears on the screen? Well, we'd have to actually use a modifier called on appear. So let's actually add this in now and we'll overwrite our state when it appears. And instead of making the button green, like you see now, we'll actually make it orange. So in order to do that, underneath your sheet here, if you just go here and just type on appear, you'll see that you have this modifier here. So if you just hit enter and inside of here, what we just want to say is button color is equal to orange. Now, if we run this again, fresh, you will now see that instantly, as soon as it runs, it sets the button color to orange. So you don't really get to see it changing from green to orange. So what we're going to do is add in a delay to actually change the color to orange. So what we've decided in here is a one and a half second delay from now to actually then set the button color to orange when this view, the button appears. So if we run this now, you'll see that it's not orange yet, but now it changes to orange. So as soon as our view appears, we trigger this where it adds in a delay for half a second and then it changes the color to orange. Now we've spoken about the on appear, but what about if we wanted to see a change in our button when a view disappears? Let's actually add this in now and then we'll break it down. So what we're going to do here, is just add in the on disappear. And then we're just going to set the button color here to black. So let's actually just test this out and see if this will work. So if we tap on the button here now, so we're now showing this view and if we pull down, you'll notice that our button color isn't black, it's still orange. So why is this? Well, when you use on disappear in this context, even though you don't see the button anymore, it's technically not disappeared off the screen. So if you actually pull down on this view and remove it, that's when on disappear is triggered. So it will be triggered when the view is removed from your app. So in order to actually use this on this appear, we need to actually apply it onto the text rather than our button. So let's actually move this from here and instead apply it onto our text. And now when we try it out, if we tap on a button and if we pull down, you will now see that as soon as our text view is removed from the screen and from our SwiftUI app in memory, it now sets the button color to black. Now, this is not actually the only thing that we're able to do as well. We actually are able to observe changes to a state property within our views. So this could actually be in your view model or it could be a local state property or binding that you have here. So in order to do that, what we need to do is actually use the on change modifier. So just below on appear, if we just type out on change, you'll now see that we have this modifier here. And what this modifier allows us to do is it actually allows us to observe changes to a value that conforms to equatable. So if you've got some kind of custom data, like a struct or an enum, you're going to need to make it conform to equatable so you can observe the changes to it. But we're using a default type here in Swift bool, which automatically conforms to equatable, so we don't need to add it in. So let's actually just use this now. 
and what we're going to say is we want to say on change of button color and then we get this closure which allows us to actually access the new value that this button color has changed to so if you hit enter you'll get a new value now you can rename this new value to whatever it is you want but for this tutorial i'm just going to leave it as new value and then what we're going to do is actually print out a message to the console to print the changes to our state property so let's do that now so now we actually can't see this in the Swift UI preview because it doesn't actually have a console. So we're not actually see this work, I'm going to actually run it on the simulator. So let's do that now. So as you can see, when an application loads for the first time, it says here that the color has changed to orange. And that's because we added that delay of one and a half seconds to set the button color to orange here. And if I now tap on this button to present the text, you'll see nothing gets printed out here. But if I remove this view, you'll now see that it actually prints to the console that the color has been changed to black. Just one interesting thing I wanna show you is that if we actually present this again, and we actually dismiss this, you'll notice that it's actually not printing to the console anymore. So why is that? Well, remember, on change observes changes to the button color. Right now, we just set the button color when we dismiss it to black again. So technically, nothing has changed. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working with the on change modifier only change and trigger if the value that it's observing changes to a new value okay sweet so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed it i'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and also as well subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces